Welcome to Tech News 1. Today's date is 23rd October 2025. On 20th October 2025, early morning 2.49 a.m. Eastern Time, there is a massive AWS global service outage was happened. So let's look into what happened in this massive outage and what other services are affected will understand after watching this video. So there is a massive AWS outage was occurred on 20th October 2025. It was happened in the US East 1, Northern Virginia. So AWS, they set up their data center globally. So the customer, they have running their services in that particular data centers. So the main places we called as regions, whichever the country, the place, the data centers, the actual data centers we called as availability zones. So in US East one region, it has multiple availability zones. That means multiple data centers, all are got affected. So this widespread, it was happened almost for 15 hours on Monday. So due to that, the many AWS users, the accounts, they're running their applications in the AWS data center, that applications got affected. The huge number of companies, applications, websites, globally it was affected. So before we are looking to what are the companies that are affected for this outage, Let's understand AWS, how global infrastructure maps it works. Around 38 regions worldwide with 120 data centers they have set up. So worldwide, all the continents, the AWS data centers already, they have set up their own data centers. Like we have North America, South America, Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asia Pacific, Australia and New Zealand. This outage was happening in North America, US East region that is called North Virginia. So here is available. And which of the companies are get affected? The most top branded companies like Snapchat, Roblox, Fortnite, Venom, Duolingo, WhatsApp, Signal, financial institutions, airlines, and even Amazon owned services like Alexa and Ring reported these problems. So even AWS also depending on the DynamoDB and especially AWS uses information, the data will be stored in DynamoDB. So as discussed, the complete US East one, the data center got affected in this outage. So what happened and what is the root cause for this issue? The root cause of this issue is it was identified with the, with the DNS service. Resolution issue affected regional endpoint for DynamoDB service. So who is the DynamoDB? So DynamoDB, it is a core a serverless NoSQL database service, which is offered by AWS, which is using uh, many application to store their critical data and managing their operations. Same like DNS. So DNS is basically domain name service. It act as a like a internet phone book, translating human readable website names like example.com into numerical IP address that computers need to find the correct server. So what is the issue has happened between DNS and DynamoDB? There is a breakdown has happened. 
due to dns malfunctioning or not working properly the issue was problem with the dns resolution for the dynamo db api endpoint in eos east region it was get affected that means which of the applications are hosted in the dynamo db in us east one that got affected 100% so users not able to access applications so this is how it was happened around 15 hours of duration and it is considering as a big outage in aws history thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe this video we'll see you in the next video thank you